All right, chip of the day. I have a little uh, little box here full of chips. And uh, uh, I took them off the reel. I like to store them in these little boxes. These little boxes are for um, bead craft. If your wife does beading, you can go steal these little boxes from her. Um, uh, I think you can get these at stores like Michael's or Joann's or something like that. So anyway, I like them. They're like a, a, um, a mint box. Uh, they have a little a little flip open tab and you can shake out your mint. Uh, but uh, I keep, uh, I keep uh, little parts in them. So, so what are these little guys? They're voltage regulators, so let's take a look at them. All right, the chip of the day is an LT1764, uh, a three amp, fast transient response, low noise LD re regulator. Yeah, these are really nice parts. Um, I haven't used them before. Uh, um, like I said, I kind of got a, a bunch of parts for free. Somebody gave them to me. And um, I went to look up the price on them, and they went $10 each for these things. So, yeah, they ain't cheap, cheap at DigiKey, at least. Um, so, uh, but they, they are pretty spectacular parts. So let's take a look at the, uh, at the data sheet here. Uh, 3 amp. The dropout is 0.34 volts at 3 amps. That's a, that's a really low dropout voltage. That's great. Low noise, 10 hertz to 100 kilohertz. One milliamp quiescent current. Uh, you can use it between 2.7 and 20 volts. Um, no production diodes needed. So this thing is um, is very nice. We'll, we'll, we'll look at some of the other things that it can do well. So this is how you generally use it. You, you just need a 10 microfarad on the input and a 10 microfarad on the output, and you're good to go. Um, there. Uh, are some versions that are fixed uh, voltages and some versions that are uh, adjustable. Mine happens to be an adjustable one. Um, and the sense line here does the adjusting. Um, let's see here. There was some also some pretty cool things about this thing. Um, yeah. So stable with output capacitors as low as 10 microfarads. The internal protection includes reverse battery protection current limiting, thermal limiting, and reverse current protection. So these things are pretty bulletproof. That's good. Uh, device is available in fixed outputs of blah, 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 and has an adjustable uh, version. My, so mine's the adjustable version, and the reference is, is 1.2, and you just put it a resistive divider on the output to give you 1.2, and that's what you regulate to. Um, here's a graph of the dropout voltage, which is spectacular. Like at one amp, it's 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 less than 0.2 volts. <laughs> yeah, um, amazing, amazing, amazing part. Real nice low low ohm fets inside these things. Now, if I were going to buy these things and keep a, a bunch of them, I would want to get uh, uh, I would want to get a, a this package. It's like a TO220 but with five pins, um, and this would give you that full three amps be able to hook it up to a, a heat sink and everything, that'd be great. These things, these things seem to be hard to find. You can get lots of these, which are the same version, but with a solder down tab. But this is harder to put a heat sink on. So I sort of like these guys, but you know, they do have a low ohm resistance, so maybe they don't get too hot, I'm not sure. But the ones that I have are these little guys. These are a um, S -O, a T T S S O P. TSSOP16. So yeah, they're they're little fine fine leads, um, and uh, so you have ground on all, all four corners. You have three lines of output, and three lines of input. There's a, a shutdown pin that goes into that one microamp or whatever it is, and then there's the sense adjust line for the uh, the other one. Yeah. So really really cool stuff. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's hook one up. All right, let me uh, talk about adapter boards. So I have some adapter boards for SM, SM, uh, T work, SMD. Uh, so I use a lot of these guys. These are uh, for SO16 packages, but you can put a 4 or 14 or whatever on here. It doesn't matter. This is the standard SO part, but on the flip side, is the TSSOP. So I finally get to use this side. I haven't used this side before. 
Um, and so my part will, will, will go on this side of the uh, board. Those, those little adapter boards are just dirt cheap. All right, so let's take a look here. All right, so I have the part here, uh, 10 microfarad on the input, 10 microfarad on the output. Um, and so currently I have some divided, dividing resistors. I think I have a 2K and a 5.6K whatever those are going to give me but the, some 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 reasonable ratio we'll figure out what that voltage is but um, uh, there is a formula in the data sheet on how you calculate the correct formula uh, the correct value for the voltage that you want on the output uh, you yet need to account for a little bit of internal leakage of the not leakage but some concurrence that the uh, part uses and you have to kind of account for that in this resistor uh, oh here let me let me just show you the uh, formula Okay, so it's it's right down here. Um, you use this re resistor divider R2, R1. You do need to be a aware that R1, you need to have less than 4K. Um, and I started out with like a 10K there and it, it wasn't really working well. I couldn't figure out why, but the data sheet says this one needs to be less than 4K for it to work properly. But here's the formula. Uh, it's the standard uh, resistor divider plus an extra term, which is the adjust current times R2 and the adjust current is 3 microamps so it's not a lot but if you want to be accurate you can throw in that 3 microamps in there and uh, make it a little more make it a little more accurate but we don't care today so let's go ahead and hook this thing up and see what kind of voltage we get out all right let's put some voltage on the input and our resistive string is giving us uh, 4.61 uh, and um, I'm inputting seven and a half volts. So let me take it up. I'm now inputting nine volts. And let me take it down. I'm now inputting 6.6 .6 volts. And you can see that it, it doesn't really matter. We could take this thing all the way down to, let's see, the, should we take it down to five volts? Yeah, 5.4, 4.7. Yeah, look at that. Man, that's a low dropout regulator. Okay. Uh, so I do have load on it. I have an LED and I also have a 220 ohm resistor. So 220 ohms. So 20 milliamps. Um, so, you know, nowhere near the one amp, but I just wanted to put some load on it so we, we can watch its regulation. But yeah, there you go. And like I said, this little part here is not going to do three amps, you know. But for the robustness and the... Um, uh, uh, size and everything. I think it's a, it's a nice board for some some projects I have in mind. So, thanks to my friend for giving those to me. He gave me a bunch of stuff his company was throwing away. All right. So that was uh, chip of the day. It was a uh, LT one seven six four adjustable three amp. Yeah. Get them on a little shaker box.